Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. Life is almost back together again. Um, almost. Um, uh, yesterday, the replacement battery for my UPS came in. Uninterruptible power supply. It did not come in via UPS. That's why Jeff is not as mad. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, so got the battery back up, back up. The computer's back up and running. Uh, everything there is good. The Minecraft server is good. The CoffeeCraft server is back up and running. Everything's uh, as good as it can get, except for the fact that we're still on 1.18. Um, may maybe? Maybe this weekend? Uh, I'll, I'll actually get the um, update to 1.19 done. I'm probably only going to go as far as 1.19.0 and not 1.19.1, even though... It would be nice to have the LA duplication. Uh, I I have thoughts and opinions on the uh, user moderation, chat moderation attempts. Uh, I'm going to try not to get started because you no that that's better done in a orga more organized, prepared fashion. Uh, so, with, with that done, and I just wanted to start up in the library because uh, I haven't started here uh, since it was built, and I was tired of starting over in, in uh, the, I don't know, the work area, the storage area, the back hall, I, I don't know, what, what do we call this? Trouble, that's what we call it. Um, what I do want to do, though is I need to grab the ice box. I need glass, maybe die. Uh, I don't need my potions parcel. Uh, I don't need coral, but I might throw it in for decoration. I need the redstone, my project two box, and Oh, well, it's not like we're going that far away before uh, before anything happens. Hang on. Uh, it never fails. I go to start a live stream, and it's nighttime, no matter what I do. No, ma no matter how hard I try, I go to start the live stream, and it's nighttime. I don't know. I didn't get to bed until like 2 in the morning, so uh, I'm hoping this will be a short project. <laughs> we'll see. Um... I, at some point, uh, we as a server need to get around to figuring out how we choose to light the caldera there. And um, who puts sea lanterns in there? I like it. I don't remember doing that. Maybe I did. I don't think I did. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> if I've been AFK in my castle uh, for too long, uh, it's not safe to randomly venture outside the door. <laughs> Let, let's, let's just say it's uh, definitely not safe to randomly venture outside the front door. Uh, I have found many, many uh, uh, jump scare surprise. I know the back door is better lit at the moment. Um but not by much. Oh, and I still got to clean up this uh, animal farm here. Let me walk before the goats decide to ram me. Uh, this path is still on my to-do list. I definitely need it better. I want to clear up some of that powdered snow. Uh, hi, friend. That's it. Walk that way. I don't know why I started using a crossbow. I, I don't particularly like them, but, you know, I don't know. I had it. Oh, probably because that was a uh, piercing crossbow, and I needed that for my end raid? Question mark? I don't know. I don't even remember why. Anyway, uh, I still want to get more rows of sugarcane. I would like to get a large kelp farm tucked in there, too. Uh, but that's not what I'm working on today. Oh, 
Uh, maybe I don't have a spot in there to toss a couple of bones. I still need to find a dog. I, I can't believe we're this far into season three and I have not yet found and tamed a dog. Hey, thank you for the follow. How are you doing today? What I do want to do is get a get a um a small squid farm going over here. Uh oh ah I remember now. I, I remember what it was I was missing. Let's uh let's let's toss these back in here for the moment. Uh I need I need to go grab some iron and I need to put together another 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 shulker box uh, <laughs> I had a I had a full stack of shells somewhere somewhere because uh, one of the things that I need to to build this uh, squid farm is gonna be axolotls they are apparently astoundingly useful in making squid farms. They have turned them from the nightmare farm they used to be to to uh, something actually fa fairly straightforward. Um, hmm. We only have a double chest of iron blocks. I, I guess I need to spend a little time AFK over here. Uh, <laughs> I, although the wool farm's doing pretty good, isn't it? Sorry, ADDDO butterfly. Can't remember what that's called. <laughs> the yeah, the wolf farm should be pretty good. Eh, I don't know. Of course, when you only got one sheep of each color, I noticed that the the last season too. When you only got one sheep of each color, it does take a little while to trickle in. I, I'm almost wondering if uh, next season I might try to put two or three sheep in there. The only problem is they don't grow their wool until they eat, so I don't know that that I don't know that that's really the the number of sheep is the the slow factor. I think the slow factor is the spread of grass. Uh, so the other option might be to uh to do uh cub cub fan style um piston feed tape with grass and just rotate through grass blocks every time they eat so they they eat they get snipped and then the grass rotates around so that way there's a fresh block under there and that might that might speed it up a little bit more and i'm not i'm yeah that, that's another reverse engineer for another day. Um, Alright. Enough distraction. Where was I going? What am I doing? Who am I? Hello, welcome to the channel. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. I need to go get some axolotls. Uh, I need... Uh... I think I think I remember where I put my shulker shells. I think it's in my portable portable. Uh, I think it's in my box of plenty. Well, box of miscellaneous. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, oh, portable workshop. Yes, that's still not a full stack of shulker shells, but okay. Beggars and choosers and all that. Let's get that back. Let's, uh, where's a bench? There we go. There's what? 2027? Actually, I don't need 27 axolotls, but I'm going to go ahead and get them anyway. Let's just double check and make sure that we got the right amount. Perfect. Okay. Let's block that back up. And I don't think iron's been... No, iron has not been moved over to the new permanent storage system yet. All right. Um, 
I need axolotls. Uh, they are in uh, the lush, lush caverns, lush caves. I don't know of any nearby. Um, at least nearby to to where we are currently. I, I suppose. I could go hunting for them. But I do know that we found one of the lush caverns by the end portal. So rather than uh, follow the yellow brick road. Uh, there we go. Uh, <clears throat> rather than <sighs> fly. Oh, no. The server's going to catch up and I'm going to like waste a ton of rockets, aren't I? There we go. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I, I like our old hosting provider better. But there's not exactly an abundance of options short of running it myself and just renting out a virtual machine. Not what I want to do. You know what I learned in server admin class? I don't like administrating servers. There we go. All right. Um, did we leave? Is this a solid? This is a solid tower, isn't it? Yeah. Somewhere in this hot mess of a cavern, there is a, an exit <laughs> into the lush cavern that we found on our way to the end portal. Oh, this is this is not well lit up. We oh, so it's not, huh? Okay. If only there was a way you could chat in real time. I still need to make a moss farm too. Uh, but where is the... Oh, there's the waterway. Alright, um... First things first. I need... To get all those buckets... What was that? What was that? All right. Oh. Hello, little fishy. Do I need glow squid ink too? No, I don't think I do. Uh, what I do need to do is... Oh. Uh. How? Oh, Minecraft. What? Uh... Sorry. I am... I am confused by the uncooperative water block. That, that's... Okay. Oh. Is, is this... Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, uh, yeah. There is more Lush Cavern. Alright, what I'm looking for is axolotls. Um... I don't know if I need to start, like, murdering squid or stuff. Because we might have hit the cap for a 
aquatic life. And I know, I know I could just get a bunch of the tropical fish and breed them with the two that I have, but that takes time. And I don't feel like spending time. Oh, uh, that's not where I want to be. Oh, and I can't pick that up because my inventory is full. My Yang, how about the uh, inventory and extras update? Is that what we can call it? Inventory and extras? The extra inventory update? All right, let's just put that there for now. Because I need to make some room in the aquatic mob cap. Oh, hey, little guy. There we go. And I shall name him Tim. Tim Tam? Tim Tom? Mm, I'll go for some Tim Tims. Alright. Uh, where's the next one? Guys, seriously. Oh, is the fish dying on that magma block that's uh, making that noise? That's got to be it. That's funny. Where's the... Uh, come on, guys. The last time we were here, we picked up a bunch of them pretty quick. And we weren't even trying. Matter of fact, where did all those axolotls go? I get a fish head. <laughs> Is it a roly poly fish head? Is that an old reference? Never mind, don't answer that. Come here. Ah So do I do I name the yellow one Pikachu? <laughs> I don't think he was an axolotl though. No, I'm not going to come up with 27 names either. All right. Uh, <clears throat> we need to find a bigger, bigger lush cave. Because now there's nothing here. Do I need? Do I need to? Ah, go away, bat. Oh, uh, I see you up there. Probably should have brought more torches with me. Oh, wait, no. Maybe I should just get a bunch of glowberries and plant them down here. That way I can get a little more light. Alright, there's some fish. Where's the axolotls? Any other day, any other day, there'd be about 50 of them floating around here. But today, because that's what I'm looking for. <sighs> I might just switch to catching tropical fish and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, getting more axolotls a different way. Or are they over here? Are they all over here now? Hi, friend. Are 
Are they all sitting in like the one little puddle over here? Oh, that's a lava. Is there another cave nearby that uh, is taking up all the axolotls? I forgot that there was all this clay down here too. That, that makes, uh, although with, with, the, uh, with some of the villagers I got more terracotta than I know what to do with. So I guess I don't need to come down here hunting for terracotta. Alright, alright, alright. Serious, man. Okay. I, I just wanted to find my way back. see the flaw in my cunning plan. Why did I bother trying to, uh, okay. How about now? Have we, uh, replenished the biosphere here? With fish. With fishy. One fish, two fish. Red fish, blue fish. If, uh, if we don't get an axolotl in the next couple minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take the two that I got and start collecting fish. Because this is... Is that another fish head? I think that is another fish head. got that uh, stupid lighting. I still gotta fix that. I don't know what it is, but XSplit doesn't properly uh, show the lighting. This way? Nope. Just a big clay patch. Oh! Oh, hi guys! This is where you've been hiding. Okay. Any more over here? Just some more jump scare skeletons, right? We uh we haven't done a very good job of clearing out all the ores and lighting this place either, have we? And that's nothing but glow squid. Hmm. Although I don't know what ore we need out of here that we haven't. <laughs> already picked up a fair abundance of. Is it is it gold? Because, uh... Well, I guess we don't have much of the, the gold ore. So, you know. That could be part of it. Oh, hi, little buddy. Of course... Oh. <laughs> of course. I was getting ready to quit on you guys. And so, now, you show up. That's, uh, yep. That's about what I expected. Alright, let's head back to our original spring. Nope. Nothing there but them skeletons. Lost. 
Holocaust. This was supposed to be a quick task. Just come here, get a shulker box full of axel. Fine. You know what we're doing? We're eating fish. You're fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, no. Oh. Get back in there. Oh, for serious. Did I? Six, seven. <laughs> How many do you have? Although this might actually. Uh, well, let me get a let me get a few more of the uh, tropical fish, and I think I can I can make enough happen. Fishing with a bucket is not optimal fishing. Did you seriously call these guys water rats? I'm sorry, I just picked up on that. They're not water rats. They're the cutest predator. It says so on the achievement and everything. Fine. You deserve to live. Why don't you call them bucket rats? They're not bucket rats. <laughs> They're about to get us enough black ink that even Reist won't, you know, know what to do with it all. Maybe. If I can reverse engineer this right. They don't live in the buckets. You just kind of hang on to them in the buckets until you're ready to do something with them. I'm kind of surprised we didn't keep them in the, uh, <laughs> in the, in the temple to help us keep them clear. Hi, buddy. Don't let mean old Arcadius call you a bucket rat. <laughs> what do you mean they don't co-op well with others? I guess if we, uh, I guess if we, uh, uh, were to build the squid farm far enough underground, we could get some glow squid. those wondering uh <laughs> the axolotls if you give them a bucket of fish they that's how you uh that's how you make more axolotls 
The buckets of fish make them happy. Happy axolotls make more axolotls. And, uh, yeah. Come here, Nemo. There we go. Okay. Who would have figured catching fish in a bucket would be that hard? Alright, now that I got the catch of the day. Well, I didn't quite intend it to be. That's not quite the catch of the day I was intending, but isn't that, isn't that how the catch of the day works? It's whatever, it's whatever they happen to draw it with the boat rolled up. I gotta remember those stairs go all the way down. Or, all the way. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I said, the tarot is real. Seems we ran out of safety rail, too. Where's that coming from? Doesn't matter. See, axolotls are the cutest predator in the game. They will kill certain other mobs and squid are one of them. So previously, to get a an ink farm, a squid farm to work, you had to set up a, a water source that would spawn squid and force them into a place where they would drown, suffocate, die, something. Um... And it was a nightmare and a half. You'd have to do all sorts of finicky shenanigans to make it all work. Now, things are a little different. Axolotl will absolutely obliterate squid. They have no problems with it whatsoever. Um, matter of fact, they, they, they like a little calamari. in those two boxes. Oh, th oh, those, no. Those two boxes are not a part of this project. Um, so what you need is a place where squid spawn and in relatively recent updates, Minecraft changed where squid will and will not spawn. Uh, one of the best places to do it is a river biome. Um, hang on. It's almost nighttime. Nighty night. And if you look in the top left of my screen... Where it says MC time, day, block, facing, client light. The second to last item there, biome, river, means that wherever I start, yeah, that we are currently in a river biome. Which is awesome, because that means that we can start, uh, we can start getting these guys squared away. Uh, I do need to make sure that it is lit well enough to prevent uh, uh, drown from spawning in here. Although, I think, but I'm not 100% sure that the axolotls will go after the drown. Alright. I want to do this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, 
One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, I don't. It doesn't have to be that big. Uh, matter of fact, if it's not that big, it means the axolotls will absolutely murder the squid quicker because there, there's less there's less room there. Too bad there's no way to do uh, cracked. Cracked Frisbee bricks. Something something parody. Mo oh, Yang, please. Four four four. Ooh. How tall do I want to make this? Uh, all right, let's do this this way. Uh, somewhere in here, I've got how many how many chests are we gonna put in put towards this project? Rayest is gonna want ink, so we're gonna need. Well, let's go ahead. This one, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and go five. I right, two. Three, four, five. Oh, <laughs> those were for emergency choker boxes, but. Here's the other question. Is this going to produce anything other than black ink? Like, are, are we, are we going to get, end up with, um, are we going to end up with thoughts that don't complete? I told you the tired is real. Uh, are we going to end up with... I think the only fish that spawn in the river where we are at are going to end up being cod. And as tasty as cod is in real life it's not very useful <laughs> in minecraft uh, so that would be a question too uh, I feel like I'm missing something I am forgetting something what am I forgetting uh, I am almost certainly going to want to make this a little bigger. This is probably just a little too small. through. Oh, that's right, because I, I had initially thought about leaving room for redstone, but I, I'm now... You know, let's make sure this works. We'll just get unfiltered everything, and then if it looks like we're getting enough of a mix of stuff that is worth sorting, 
then I'll start doing the redstone sorting and figuring out what other assorted sorts of stuff. That was almost even a complete sentence. Um... Yeah. Which also means I did... Ah, fine. I did this part just a smidge wrong. Oh no! Never mind, that piece probably fell into it. <laughs> okay. Mm. Alright, uh, how do I want to do this? I know I want to use that as some of the interior. Um... I also know that I probably want to decorate it a little bit better than this at some point. Uh, that point is not now, however. Uh, I need... I need this to go... Here. I need... Just go ahead and leave my portable workshop out here because I keep needing stuff that's in there. All right, uh, I need some composters. And I need to figure out water flow. Because what I want to happen is I... I want to do this. No, I think I need this to go back one more. Or do I? This is the problem with not planning it out. I, I really thought I could just whip this together in like 40 minutes and call it done, but here we are 40 minutes in, and uh, what I got is a hot mess. And I can't even explain my thought process because... Alright. The, the basic idea is I need a tank of water. And I'm going to have some water, some flowing water over the top. Heading that way towards the back. That's going to go to a stream that's going to push it into the, the uh, hopper there. Although I guess... I guess as long as the, the water is flowing um, I get the water flowing back Let me sleep on the problem I'm probably going to need to put more lights in here, too. Now they get, I can't remember if... I can't remember if drown spawning is based only on the ground or the overall light level in the water. Um, I'll have to look that up, and I, I'll 
it all depends on if these guys actually ever produce any drone. Uh, what I do need to do is what color glass do I want to put in front of this? Do I want to do light blue or the cyan or just plain old glass? I feel like it probably ought to be colored. Let's, uh, sometimes I try to occupy myself with irrelevant, irrelevant stuff to, to, until I can figure out the answer, you know, let, let, let the real problems, you know, work on a slow burn in the back. Oh, oh no, 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 light, light blue is a no-go. That is a nope. That is most definitely a nope. I'm pretty sure the green and lime green is also a nope. Uh, is cyan really going to be the only other op the only option here? Well, other than clear. I think clear might be my only option. My only other option. Uh, let's grab a smidgen of cyan. Put some of that light blue. Oh, wrong box. Uh, let's put some of that light blue away. Before I put more than a, a row or so. Uh, how's the cyan? No? Or is this one of those we won't know until we get some water in there too? Although, in... In the Guardian Farm in the previous season, when I had something like this set up, I think I just used plain, plain glass. Or was it white? No, white was on the floors and ceiling. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to end up having to be some plain, plain white, or plain clear glass, regular old glass. I mean, it's not like we can't change it out later, too. This is Minecraft. Nothing's permanent if you don't want it to be. Well, except maybe Bedrock. No, not even then. I don't know why I'm trying to conserve ice. <laughs> go. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I need to, uh, okay. Let's do this then. Because I know I'm going to need up to there. Ice won't make a water block unless there is a block underneath it. kelp in here until uh see the nice thing is is when item items float to the top so the axolotls will kill the squid the ink will float up to the top and then and no and then and then uh, oh, I, I need, let me go get some blue ice anyway. Uh, where's my ice box? Mm. Do I want to try, how, can I get enough blue ice to make that work? Uh. I think I need to go, uh, forage an iceberg or something. 
We came across some when we were looking for the swamp, didn't we? Way, way back in the beginning of the season when Medic Arcadius and I went hunting for uh, a swamp biome. I'm pretty sure we did. Ah! Duck on it. It's okay. Arcadius is working on the uh, Prismarine farm. Perfect. Okay. So here is the next question. And, oh. and I am going to need regular, regular ice. I forgot to boat that. I'm going to need some slabs. Ow! <laughs> I am modestly concerned that uh, I'm not seeing any squid spawn yet. Alright, if I put a, a top slab in that block where the water is, it becomes a waterlogged top slab. So that stays a water source. And nothing unfortunate happens toward or to it. And what I want to do is get water going. So I've got flowing water that goes over this away and onto here. So theoretically. Uh, yeah, see, that's what I was afraid of. Um, items were going to get caught up. They're going to go over here and they're not going to flow that way. I, I almost wonder if I need to bring this part up one more or this part down one more, although that, uh, I can't really bring it down one more because then I'm not going to get, I'm not going to hit the, the intake for the storage the way I want to. All right, so... So let's bring this part up one more. Um, oh. Well, that is a predicament, isn't it? All right. Uh, let me go get some iron bars. has an idea. I still gotta fix this door. Because everything I did to make it villager proof, it, it makes it uglier than it was before. If I were me, I would have put the iron bars. Hi. Hello. How you doing? How are you doing? It's getting dark. Sun's going down. Go ahead and
Unugly it? Huh? I'm not sure that I follow the comment. It's... Oh, oh. No, no. That defeats the purpose. Some of them have some really nice books at a really good price. It's the only thing saving their lives. I think what I want to do is I want to go ahead. Oh, no. Seriously? You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. One problem at a time. One day I'll even believe that. Wait, no. I do want that one there. That's going to be wall anyway, right? Yeah. Okay. That's not a problem. just realized the flaw in my cunning plan. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, the basic idea is you're supposed to make a spot that the squid will spawn. Um, this is a river biome. Squid should be spawning in here. Uh, while I'm mentioning that. Unless I'm too close, in which case this is too close to the AFK hut anyway. Um, the idea is have a spot that squid spawn, have a bunch of axolotls. The axolotls will do in the squids. And uh, step three, profit. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to, you know, what? I think I might have to, uh, might have to rethink this one. <laughs> I really thought I could just whip this one together. That, uh, er. Yep. Especially if that's too close. Now I got to go look up 
squid spawning. Let's see if the the player proximity matters or not. It probably does. It seems to matter in everything else. Although, well, no. No, yeah, the, the glow squid and the fish, it mattered too. So, I'm, I just wasted a bunch of ice. And I'm probably going to have to move that lower. <sighs> All right. Uh, well, I think this one over. Let me put all my all my stuff away and do a general cleanup, lest somebody accuse me of participating in server chest monsters. And unjustly at that, this is not a chest monster. If you watched Pearlescent Moon's latest episode, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Scar hired her to clean up his chest monster, and she charged him 170 diamonds. Cleaned it up, but uh, <laughs> it cost him 170 diamonds. Because it was, uh, yeah, yeah, that was something. All right, so I'm going to come back and re give this one a rethink. Uh, it appears I need to do my research, and I, I am not yet at the place where I can just wing it. I was really hoping I could just wing it, but no, apparently not. I got to look into spawn radii and all that good fun stuff. Um, maybe maybe I'll get that uh, I'll get that prepped so I can finish that next week. In the meantime, between then and now, I've got some prep for this Friday's live stream, Friday, 6.30 p.m., well, 6.30 adjacent. Uh, I should be finishing, or at least getting exceptionally close to finishing, the guitar that I've been working on, the parts caster, and that will be, I, I will be very happy to have that finished. Uh, I love the pro... Why don't I even put those in there? I know they're not going in there. They're going in here. Um, I gotta sort out my heads and mini blocks. You know, I haven't actually seen a wandering trader in a while. Hmm. And I probably need to put that in the heads and mini box anyway, instead of having an extra item frame. Uh, yeah, so I'll try to finish that up next week, and uh, I'm going to be working on the stuff that I need to get the, the guitar finished next week, hopefully. In the meantime, I'm going to keep working on the stairwell. The idea, is I dug out this column in this corner, and the same in that corner, because what I would like to do is at each floor dig out a room roughly this size i might have to go uh borrow a beacon um and i still have no idea what i'm going to put in all the floors but i'm going to do that i've decided that instead of doing the shroom lights i'm going to do glowstone so shroom lights are for ground level and above and glowstone is for the basements and sub basements and sub sub basements I'm trying to figure out uh, some floor designs. I'm probably going to do a different color on each floor. Maybe even a different design. Um, so, so have a think. And in the coming weeks, let me know, you know, the yellow terracotta with the cyan corners. The terracotta with the cyan corners, the orange terracotta with the cyan corners, or should I go with the cyan on the the cardinal directions and then the colors in the corners? And then given that I want to keep the the polished basalt as a constant from floor to floor, and I want to keep this kind of design from floor to floor, um uh, you know, do, do I have the yellow floor, the terracotta floor, the orange floor, and then 
find some other colors that work and just use the terracotta as one of the constants? Or do I swap out the cyan terracotta with some other stuff as we go down? Or do I start getting into concrete? Because I, I still haven't done I haven't done a whole lot with concrete, and I need to. Um, i got to finish figuring out what I'm going to do for the adjoining spot between the two stairwells. I also need to make sure that I'm actually going in the right direction. I started to dig stairs that way when I really needed them to wrap around to the to the left. To the left, to the left. <laughs> oh, yeah, and finish decorating this area. Uh, I didn't think I was going to put anything here, so I've got all this part of the villager breeder that I'm going to have to, like, I don't know, prettify or hide or something. <laughs> same, same with, uh, where is it? Is it over here? I know, I know it's somewhere around here. Anyway, uh, somewhere on the stairwell is some more bits of the, the villager, there, there we go. There, there's more bits of the villager breeder floating in, uh, Although, on the other hand, I kind of like having access to the uh, dispenser for the minecarts. That, that at least gives me some, some maintenance access to some of the, the less accessible parts of this. Although, having said that, I still need to, I still need to redesign the collection system so that uh, when I have... 20-ish of these guys, it turns off access to the beds, so those guys don't create any more any more babies. Um, my initial idea was to use uh, entity cramming as a way to keep the population at a certain level. The problem is, as I grab people out of here, I'm finding them damaged. And so I'll get a villager with like nine hit points left. And, and that's just not acceptable, especially when the idiots keep falling off of stairwells and stuff. Um, and the last thing I need is one of the... See, see, he's at one hit point. What are you doing that you're at one hit point? How? Why? Do, do I need to block off the stairs? Do I need to put like little kitty gates at the stairs? How are you at one hit point? What about the rest of you? No, you're at twenty. You're at twenty. So what we we got the we got the one guy about to Darwin himself out of the the villager hall. Actually, it looks like it. Everybody else is at full health except for uh, Darwin's special special child over there. One hit point. Hang on. I I gotta. Oh, oh! How did you get in there? Where did you come from? Uh, this is a problem. No, 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 no. Where did you come from? Oh, there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I forgot that I left access to those caves and I... They're coming in from somewhere over there. I haven't figured it out. That's why, that's why I haven't, uh closed up access yet because I wanted to be able to go down there and uh, that was almost bad oh no did somebody get through and I just didn't notice now I'm scared to check no no you're still a person you're still a person you guys are people what about you guys no you're fine I still gotta get the hog farm going Oh, that's going to be fun to design a, a hog farm with actual mud now. Well, once we get to 119. All right, let me try to finish the thought. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know what all colors are going to work in which style design. The more I look at this, the more I'm liking using cyan terracotta at the cardinal directions and then the color indicating the floor in the four corners. I don't know how many colors that's going to work with because like lime green is not going to fit with this. And maybe I need to branch out into, into the, some of the concretes to make it all work or some of the fancy stones. Like, like, I don't know, start, you know, have the granite floor and the, in the, uh, the diorite floor can go in the basement. 
Um, how many floors do I have? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. All right, so I need seven variety. <laughs> I need seven variety to, to get that sorted out, and then... Uh, Mm. Maybe I need to install an elevator. I might have to I might have to go looking at redstone elevators. Although that monstrosity that Doc M's built is I don't know. I don't know if even he was confused by that. I what <laughs> what chance do a mere mortal such as I stand? Oh, that's right. Before I get distracted by the zombie, I need to take care of Mr. One Hit Point. Um, I, I've taken to keeping a couple of splash potions of instant health around. Are you guys fine? Ooh, thank you, Auntie Bess. How are you doing today? All right, that's twenty. He's at twenty. He, I'm I'm looking in the top left corner, the second to bottom entry. It's got their name and then their hit points out of the total. All right, where, where's Mr. Where's Mr. Uh, proving Darwin right? There you are. There we go. All right, he's back at full health. All right, <laughs> now now to now to now to try to close this one out because uh, yeah, like I said, the tired is real. I was up till two a.m. last night this morning. Whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, finish up the squid farm next Monday. I'm going to try to work on a prototype. I'm also going to work on the stair, digging out the stairwell. And, oh, design. That's that's what we we're talking about. Um, think about it. Uh, cyan in the corners and then a color on the cardinal directions. Or cyan in the cardinal directions and colors in the corners. And I'm going to have to find seven colors that work. I, I do kind of like the orange, the terracotta, and the yellow. Those do seem to work pretty well with this setup, so that's three out of the seven. Um, we'll see what else. Or do I go to the gold farm and have like a gold floor and we get an iron floor? And <laughs> I, I think I could trade with these guys enough to get an emerald floor. And Is there enough? Are there enough precious metals to, to do that all the way down? Let's see, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. I am not doing a diamond floor, so yeah, no, no, not enough. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, Friday, 6.30, 6.30 adjacent, I will be going live. I'm going to finish up that guitar that I've been working on the last couple of weekends. The, the replays from the last three sessions are available. I've gone ahead and done some some more work on the body i've got the pickup cavity shielded and uh i'm probably not going to show that one off because it was a pain to get everything back together in there i did end up replacing the output jack with the switchcraft part which uh i i like them they they are far more durable i've never had problems with them wearing out uh so yeah uh hopefully I'll have the inlay finished. I did a first run of that last week, and um, I'll call it a good start. Yeah, Let, let's call it a good start, uh, <laughs> and then and then uh, and then we'll go from there. Um, and now that now that the computer's back up and running, I can get the template together for the inlay that's going on the back of the headstock. And I can at least get, I'm going to try to at least get that carved out so that way I can finish finishing the neck next week. Or at least getting a start on the finish of the neck so I can show exactly what's going on with that. Um, 
Ooh, if I don't get the neck finished on Friday, that means I won't be able to do the final final assembly and set up until the following week. So maybe maybe I will finish the neck before Friday if I can. Because I really do, I want to get that final set up. I want to get it done. Uh, so close. This has been such an interesting, interesting project in a multitude of ways. Um, oh, and I got the, I drilled out the tremolo posts so that way I can install the new tremolo system. I got a couple things that I do need to show on that because that, uh, I, I think my next purchase is going to be a better quality drill. Something with the uh, variable speed because the, yeah, uh, it, there, there was a couple of minor oopsies that got cleaned up. Uh, <laughs> it adds to the story. All right. I've rambled on enough in close. Thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Tuesdays, Fridays, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern or 6.30 adjacent, depending on the way work's going. Mondays is coffee crap. Fridays is been guitar stuff. I hope to get games revisited, started back up with the retro games at some point in the very near future. Uh, we'll we'll see when that when that happens. Um, hmm. I'm kind of sad because normally normally I like to send people over to Beast Lord uh, after after I get done, but his new work schedule has made it hard for him to hard for him to uh, his schedules change, so he he's not. He's not streaming as much as he used to, or not at the same times that he used to be. So let's go. Let's go say hello to Impulse. Uh, he, of of who's on that I that I have following. Uh, let's let's go say hello to him. So stick around for the raid. Have fun. I will see you next time. And uh, away we go.